Justin, welcome to, to Leighton Orient. How does it feel to sit here as head coach? Delighted. Uh, really uh, happy with the opportunity to, to come and work for Orient uh, and be in a position to, to come and work with this group of players um, and try to, to move them up the league. And that's what we've got to look at is to, to get some results first and foremost uh, that, that moves us in the right direction in the league, really. Obviously, you've previously worked at the likes of Gillingham and, and Northampton, two football league clubs. What was it that attracted you to Orient? Well, I, I'd known Orient being in FA Cup semi-finals back in the 70s. Uh, I know the, the, the history of the club, the stature of the club, the size of it. Obviously, I think well documented the, the, the troubles they've had over the last couple of years. But I think when the opportunity came calling, it was a... Uh, Opportunity I couldn't refuse. I think you know I spoke with with Martin Ling and the owners, and I don't think that right now any other job that come available in, in in the conference I would have would have approached or looked at. But when Orient come knocking, then yeah, it's something that turns your head, and, and something that I'm very excited and, and looking forward to to getting my teeth into. And obviously, you said about speaking to Martin, speaking to members of the the board. What do you make of the the setup that's in place here? Very, very good. I think uh, that was obviously a, a concern. You know, I think obviously from the outside looking in, you, it looked like there was stability at the football club with the takeover. Um, but that was quite quickly reassured with uh, with speaking with the owners and Martin, uh, chief executive. So that was quickly put to rest, and that everything is uh, is moving along nicely off the pitch. Uh, but obviously, what we've got to do now is draw our attention and, and try and change the results on the pitch, uh, which is, is, is possible and, and will be because we know that these players are capable. They started, at, started very well beginning of the season, lost their way. All we've got to do is, is clear their faults um, and, and, and take any uh, negatives or, or excuses out of their minds and, and get them on that upward curve and, and get climbing that league. You've had experience in this in this division, and obviously the success as well at, at Newport. What do you make of the the league as a whole? Well, I keep an eye on it. I, I think it's uh, it's a very tough league. I think you have to be mentally prepared for it because you know there's not many weeks that you're not playing uh, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. Um, it's a slog, but um, you know it, it's competitive. But it's uh, I think like, as you see now, it's an open league. I think. You know, all the shot top, and I think Romney they played last night were, were in ninth position, only three points away from them. So it's a competitive league, open league, um, one that we've got to look to start climbing very quickly. And um, if you look at the, the first half of the season, it has been disappointing for ourselves where we, where we find our, our, our league position, yeah. league standing. What, how are you going to go about turning it, turn it around? Well, I've got to go and implement my own ideas, my, my management. Um, I think I just touched on it earlier. I think you know at the moment the players are uh, their decision making is clouded, and I, I've got to simplify that. I've got to clear that. I think we've got to go back to to taking the elements of risk out of the game. Um, you know we've got to we've got to be focused. We've got to have a, a clear plan and a clear identity of the way we're going to play. Stick to that. You know that might not come straight away. That we might not get the success, but eventually we will as long as we. Stick together. I think one thing's for sure that I came to, to the Dover game to, to look at the squad and, and the team. Um, and they played top of the league in Dover, and I, and I, I thought they already should have won the game. Um, but the thing for me is how the fans got behind the team uh, in the second half for some seeing some real efforts and real big tackles going on that pitch. And, you know, that's what we've got to give. We've got to all be in this together. You know, we've all got to pull in the right direction, but that's got to come from us, staff and players that you know come Saturday, Tuesday, when the games come, that we we give these fans something to believe in and something to be proud of and something to support, and and that's what the the, the message to the players will be. You inherit a squad that's obviously got a wealth of experience, but also a lot of youth. You must be pleased to have that 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 balance. Oh, definitely. I think you know you can never have enough experience uh, in any league, but certainly in this league, I think it might have been an eye opener for some of the players that have perhaps not witnessed uh, playing in the conference before. Uh, for some of the young boys, it's a great learning curve, great place to learn your football. Um, so it's just getting that balance right. I have no fear of playing young players. I think I've done that throughout my career as a manager, 
have no issue with playing young players, but only if they're good enough. I wouldn't expose any young player to the first team if they wasn't ready or able, because um, that, that wouldn't be fair. And um, but if, if there's players here that are ready, which you know there is, then they'll get their opportunity to stake a claim in that first team. Obviously, you sit here a couple of days before your first game, which will be away at, at Solihull. It'll be an, uh, an interesting few days for yourself in terms of learning that little bit more about the squad. Yeah, looking forward to it. Can't wait to get back out on the training ground. Uh, for myself, it's been three months since I've been at my last job. And I think what it's done is sharpen my teeth, ready to, to get back to work. Uh, very enthusiastic, can't wait, very excited. But getting out with the players, uh, getting amongst them, organising, um, getting their belief and their confidence back and looking forward to go to, to Saturday where you know we've got to look to get the foundations and, and get up and running. You said about it, it's sharpened your teeth during that, that time out. I suppose three o'clock on Saturday it'll be a nice feeling to be back in the dugout. It will be. Uh, it's something I've missed certainly over these last couple of weeks. Um, I felt I needed rest, you know, uh, and I took that rest and I used it well. Um, but yeah, no, I'm 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 excited uh, to be, you know, back representing the club of of, of Orient's stature and history uh, to lead the players out who I believe that need guidance and help, and they'll get that from me. But you know, we're all, we're all in this together now, and um, looking forward to to. Sort of the first game away at Sully Hole and then look forward to the first game out here. And then finally, I know you, you mentioned about everyone being in it together, but what's your message to the, the fans? It's, it's our job to um, make them support us. You know, when they come in here, they want, they want to see passion, pride, uh, commitment. Uh, that's one thing that they will get from my teams. Uh, I'm renowned for that. The way I play, the way I manage is people will know the, the style of play. And that's what we need. And I think if these supporters get that, then they, they don't need encouragement because they're, they're the ones that will encourage these players, but they've got to have a little, a little bit back. And, and certainly that's what we'll be doing come three o'clock on Saturday, is giving them something to cheer. And, and you know, once, once they get that, once they see that uh, aggressive approach and tenacity and, and players committed, then, then these them supporters will play their part and, and, and I'm sure they will.